Everything was normal at the Suez Canal the week of the 21st of March until a ship called the MV Ever Given got stuck. This 1,300 foot long vessel, almost as long as the Empire State Building, got stuck between the two banks of the Suez Canal horizontally, forcing it to stop passage along the canal. This is a very major problem due to the fact that one tenth of all global trade passes through the canal. This means oil, consumer grade goods, computer chips, and hardware, and much, much more are stuck on both sides of the canal. The ship is one of the largest in the world, so pulling it free is not going to work unless the sand that is sitting under can be dug up and moved, otherwise it would be sitting there for weeks until something can be done about it. In an article published by the CNBC, they estimated the monetary damage this blockage is causing was an estimated $400 million an hour in trade being blocked. The value of the canal's westbound traffic is estimated by Lloyds to be $5.1 billion a day and the eastbound traffic to be $4.5 billion a day. That means an estimated $9.6 billion in lost revenue and profit for every day the canal is blocked. With each passing day, there are billions at stake, and even then, that's not the end of it. Because for every day we are stuck, more ships will join the traffic jam, and it will take even more days to clear it after the ever given gets unstuck. Now, how do, as an investor, take advantage of lucrative opportunities? There are a couple of options. Some were given to me by the Reddit post by the user Hunter underscore Cohen 2. In their posts, they detail the fact that the blockage could take months, and even now, some ships that are blocked are choosing to go around South Africa, which can mean a big boom in the economy while this event is going on. There is precedent for an incident like this happening before. In 1967, the Suez was blocked, and that time, ships headed to Europe from Asia, and vice versa the long way. In doing so, the economy of South Africa in 1967, we see the real GDP percentage of South Africa hit an all-time high of 20%, or the largest spike in history for the country. If a similar event was to occur now, this could prove to be a very lucrative for South Africa. Well, now that, uh, now, but you may be thinking, the boat is freed, so this entire video is pointless, right? And I would say yes, and weep up in the sorrow for the time I wasted in making this video, but what, that's what a sorry bitch does. Instead, I'm going to spin this video as a lesson into risk management. So let me explain. Basically, this video is to tell you no matter how good you think your due diligence is, always make sure you don't put all your eggs in one basket. Now, I'm going to give you an example of why you shouldn't dump all your money into a single play, even if you live in it fully. Now I know this is a shit post, but I couldn't help but use it as evidence for this video. This post is by the redditor u slash emperor of jenks of him investing his entire life savings and six months salary into ornamental gourd futures. So he believed in his gourd DD and it well to be frank flopped on him. Now this is obviously a shit post but this is also a good representation of the current mindset of investors in this current market. Don't just buy whatever someone recommends, do your own research and corroborate it to make sure you aren't just buying gourds for no reason. My advice to traders and investors alike is to do your own research, and this is how I personally do it. So you can't come at me for saying the same thing everyone else says without providing any way to do research. So you start with a stock, any one of them, and you go about it multiple ways. You can look at the fundamentals and construct a valuation model using the conventional methods. Also, another method is by starting off using DD someone else wrote, adding your own wisdom to it. Basically, how I come up with my video ideas is I read an investment thesis someone else had, then I thought of the pros and cons of the investment that said, and then I find interesting, so I wanted to present it to you guys so you all could have an idea of your own repertoire, but then I saw an opportunity into a video about risk management research rather than just about this DD. In conclusion on this event, on a large macro scale, it's really bad for the Google community and will cause some delays in packages and other necessities, but as an investor, buying into a South African economy could put I don't know. Personally, I believe that every piece of research should be corroborated and obviously should look at the pros and cons. And in my opinion, using a wide range of I don't know, resources should give you a better idea of creating, constructing better DDs that will, you know, be better for you in the future. Otherwise, I know this is a shorter video, but I, I don't know. There wasn't much to talk about, so keep investing, stay awkward, and, you know. 
do you. And if you like this video, subscribe.